right, you welcome back. So let's solve example eight here. Now, it said find the value of each expression. So what we can do is we can make a substitution. We can say let alpha be equals to sine inverse of minus two over three. So it means that our problem now is transformed to what? Tan two alpha, right? Yes. So this is double angle. But what is tan two alpha? We know it is two tan alpha over what? One minus tan squared alpha, right? So from here, uh, we know which quadrants we're going to be. Um, here, since we know that sine, sine inverse is either in the first or what's or the fourth quadrant. Yes. But sine is negative. As you can see, sine is going to be negative because you have negative here. So it means we're going to be in the fourth quadrant, right? So if you go to the fourth quadrant, um, what do you have here? Your alpha. So what will be sine alpha? As you can see, sine alpha is going to be minus two over three. So this is either in the in the what's in the third or in the fourth quadrant. So we are taking fourth quadrant. Right, so this is what two here, this is going to be three here, but we know there is a minus here, right? And uh, what is going to be, this is going to be root of what? I think root of five, right? Yep. Now we can get what is tan alpha. So from here, this means that tan of alpha is what tan of alpha is going to be minus two over what root of five because we're in the fourth quadrant. So it means that all we need to do when we get back here, you just substitute. So this is minus two over root five over one minus minus two over root five all squared. Yeah. And this will give us minus four over root five divided by one minus what? One minus, is it four over five? Yeah. All right, so this is going to be, so let's create more space here. So this will be what? This will be minus four over five over so we have minus four over five divided by what? This is going to be five minus four one over five. So here I think there is a root. This is root five. Okay. So what is this? This is minus four root five times what? Times five. Am I correct? And now you can have minus 20 over root five, which you can multiply root five by root five. And uh, this is going to give you minus 20 root 5 divided by 5. Finally, you have minus 4 root 5. Now, for the second question, it's also similar. Um, here, what you need to do is we just need to let maybe theta or alpha, let's use theta in this case, be equals to what? Cosine inverse of four over five. So it means the problem is now transformed to what? Sine, if you look carefully, it's going to be what? Theta over two now, right? Because we have this half here. Because we have half here, that is why we have two here. 
And now using our formula, this is going to be plus or what? Minus one minus cosine alpha over what? Over two. So here we're, we're going to allow it. Um, so, but let's see before we decide on what to use. Um, let's look at this. Let's look at the position of theta first. Uh, this is cosine, so definitely cosine inverse is either in the first or in the second quadrant. Now, cosine theta is positive, right? So, it means that we will be in the first quadrant. Yes. So, we're going to have it in the first quadrant as our theta. And this is what? Adjacent, which is 4 over hypotenuse, which is five. Then the opposite has to be what? Has to be three, right? Now, you can see that if theta is in the first quadrant, then theta over two also has to be in the what? This is also in the second quadrant, yes. Why? Because theta is in the first quadrant. So therefore, we need the what? We need to keep the positive because in the first quadrant, uh, theta over two is, theta over two is in the, I said in the first, so why did I write second here? It's in the first quadrant. Okay. So this means that we were going to write one minus cosine of what? In this case, not alpha, but theta. So what is theta? Cosine of theta from here, we can get cosine theta, which is already four over five. So um, let's just remove it and just put four over five. Then everything divided by two. So we have, this is going to be what? One over five over what over two. So this is like one over what root of ten. Yep. And uh, this we this can be written as what this, and you can rationalize it by root ten over root ten. So this is just going to be root ten over ten. All right. So that is it uh, here. The next one will be for the old exams, the exercises. Thank you for watching.